Hello. In this video, let's take a look at how we can set up a Lambda function using the Blueprint on AWS console and understand the building blocks so that we can set up and scale the Lambda functions in the future. What is Lambda? Lambda is an AWS service which allows you to run your applications and code without having to deploy or manage servers. So the runtime is managed by AWS and you get to use the it out of the box so that you can deploy your code and just work with that. So let's take a look at how we can deploy AWS uh, a Lambda function using the management console and the different ways and services that we would need to interact with so that we can get all the information through and from that Lambda function and how we can manage it as well. Let's take a look at that. So in this case, we're gonna, we are at the AWS Lambda console. So let's go ahead and create a function using Blueprint. So over here, we clicked on create a function. Create a function says author it from scratch or use a Blueprint. You Blueprint has a bunch of example code, which we can use to start as a boilerplate function, as a starter code, and then we can start iterating and start developing our applications and start developing our systems from there. So in this case, I'm gonna use Blueprint and just for simplicity, I'm gonna use Python, a hello world function. Over here, I have to provide a name. So the runtime is chosen for me here, but if I had to author it from scratch, that would be one of the things that I would have to choose as well. So I would have to choose the runtime, I would have to choose my architecture and from that point on, I have to create and choose choose to create an execution row. Let's talk about that as well. So first we will have, in this case, we're creating it through a blueprint. Let's call it a hello world. Hello world is the name of the function. And then the runtime is chosen, architecture is chosen for us. We're gonna select and create an execution row. In this case, we're gonna let the, the uh, this console or to, to create a role for us. And we'll take a look at that role and see what it does and what, what it gives us in return, right? So create, create a new role with basic Lambda permissions. And this is the Lambda function code, which is a boilerplate code, which we got because of Blueprint here. So it says import JSON, print something. It has a Lambda handler event, and then it prints a couple of values that we put in. So it's a very simple code. And at this point, we have nothing else to do, but just create a function. There's another way to create uh, functions as well, which is through container images. And I think in the, in the future iterations, we will go and explore that as well. So in this case, we say click create a function. All right. So we have created a function here. Here we so see our code source. And we have triggers and destinations. We're not using any of those at the moment, which is a simple application, but we can use a wide variety of services as, as trigger sources. And some of them could be API gateways. Some of them could be Apache Kafka or DynamoDBs, which could be used to trigger our, our application code that we write here, which we're supposed to, supposed to do something with that. Now, in this case, we're gonna go with the simple boilerplate example and the triggers and the destinations are something we will use in a future iteration and we will use infrastructure as code, Terraform in most cases to try and build on those and try and try and have a more uh, controlled environment as against to doing it right now, but this is more for us to understand what we're doing. All right, we have the function. Now we know, want to know how to use it, how to try it. So we go into testing the code and we say test, we create a new event and that event would be the values. These are the values that we're gonna pass into the event I'm, I'm just gonna leave the values as is for now. And we say test it. Okay, it says execution succeeded. We have sent traffic to our application code. It is running. And as we discussed, it is serverless. So we don't need to run our servers here. So that is being handled by AWS for us. So, okay, we have executed it. It successfully loaded the function, sent the request, passed to the values. And this is the amount of time it took, took for executing it and so on and so forth. All right, what happened with my function? In this case, we are gonna take a look at it through, clicked on the logs uh, function, uh, part of the link here, and it brings us to the CloudWatch console. So what we see here is it creates, uh, the, the create Lambda function created a, uh, a log group for us as well. 
How, how it did that, we'll take a look at that as well. So it created a log group for us. This is the name of the log group, which is AWS Lambda and the name of the function. It created a log stream for us. The log stream is created generally the first time it is created when we invoke the Lambda function. So it is created right at the time when we invoke the Lambda function, which is, which is at uh, 1354. So we click on it. Okay, here it, it took all the inputs that we send in our test and it passed into the function. The function did something with it. And all of that was written into the log event. And this is this is what happened with the application here. So, okay, so what happened with our code and the, 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 the arguments, the values that we passed in, these are the ones that we see here. So, okay, so our function did something here. And to understand whether it did the right thing or not, CloudWatch logs, log group, and and log stream would be the right place to look at and see okay what happened with my function where are my logs at so this is where you would come to see the logs for your lambda function right so here we are now a lambda function executed how did it do it so when we created our function what it did was it said okay i'm going to create a new function and i'm going to create a new im your role for you as well so let's take a look at that role so in this case we say okay I can see here, this is the hello world role. And this is the name of the role that has been created uh, when we created the function. So what, oh. oh, so this is the name of the role that it created when we, as we can see here, we have the role, the hello world role and the hello world role is what was created when we created the function. So it has a role and it has an associated policy that is being created as well. So let's take a look at the policy. So the policy allows the row and the allows the Lambda function to do a certain things. And in this case, it allowed the, the console, the AWS console to do a certain things as well. First one was it allowed it to create a log group in the AWS account and the resource ARN for that ends with an account and a star, right? So it allowed it to create a log group, which is this over here. So it allowed it allowed the, the AWS console to create this log group here. And that was done through this permission action here, right? Next, it allowed the function to create a log stream and allowed it to do it only in this uh, lamp, this resource in AWS, which is ARN resources in this region. This is the account log group. So and so, so it cannot, the Lambda function cannot create logs or create a log stream or put events and, and anything but this log group here. That's what that's what this policy means. So in this case, we can create a log stream here, which is what happens if we go into the log group, we have a log stream that was created as invocation. So this is the log stream. So we have the log stream here, and then we put the log events. And this log events is like, okay, we did a click on test. Let's try again. Let's try it with another set of arguments here. So we say test it again. And the values, I'm gonna say my name. My last name. And I'm gonna just put something like AWS here. Okay. And test the function. Okay. So we got a new request ID and these were the values that were passed. So the function is working and the permissions are correct because in this case we use boilerplate. It should add more logs to this log stream, which it did. So here we are. So it added more logs to the stream and here we can see it added the values as so and so like my name, first name, my last name and then, then the third value that we passed in was AWS. So it added those as well. So how it does it is through this permission over here. Put log events into this log stream. So these are the basic building blocks for, for having a Lambda function, deploying it and running it, right? And testing it was, was the way to identify if it is working or not. In this case, it's a simple example why we are just passing in some values and then we're getting a value in return. There could be a log stream where we are passing in, there could be a Lambda function where we're passing in values like three three values here and it could process it and create some again another value in return and that might be passed into to logs as well or it might be passed to the end destination function that we saw in here like we can add a destination as well so we can create stream invocations asyn asynchronous 
and it, it, we can get more in details about this and it could be it could be passed into a trigger as well so this is more like a simple way of ident of running a lambda function and setting it up using the console in the future iterations when we do do write some real applications with it we will not be using the console but it, this is a very helpful tutorial to to help us understand it and if we want to go back and just brush up on skills so i think that's why i'm leaving this video here for everybody to watch and i hope you like this video and please come back for more videos like this thank you so much